Hi. This Tuesday, I took my sons for a bike ride around the neighborhood. It was a sunny but windy day in Helsinki. There were 10 meters of wind per second. A plastic bag and a magazine were swerved by gusts of wind from the sidewalk to the street and back to the sidewalk. The streets were empty. Every now and then we would uh, bike past some uh, other biker or uh, pedestrian. I am the kind of person who used to take joy out of seeing people in the streets. I now felt a mix of nostalgia and gratitude. I'm, I, I'm the kind of person who used to take joy out of uh, a transient connection when someone would look into my eyes in the street and smile. Uh, I used to enjoy uh, hearing, uh, talking and uh, seeing clutter in the restaurant in our street. That day the restaurant was closed. And yet, upon returning back home, I felt gratitude uh, because my neighbors have uh, self-isolated themselves. Gratitude have, has been on my mind more than before. This uh, sincere feeling of um, appreciation of, of the wonderful people and uh, projects I have in my life. Uh, reverence of life itself. Uh, how about you? Uh, have you noticed any changes in uh, your grateful thinking ever since the outbreak of the coronavirus? For me personally, this has been uh, one of the best outcomes of uh, 15 days of self-isolation. The fact that I uh, sense an increased feeling of, of gratitude for the simple moments of the day, like uh, baking bread at home. Uh, feeling uh, grateful is something that some of us uh, are more natural at doing it, while some others have to make a bit of uh, more effort. But um, in times of uncertainty, it's beneficial for all of us to invite a bit more grateful thinking in our self-talk and uh, conversations we have. And here's why. According to researchers in positive psychology, there are at least three benefits. Being grateful can help us see clearer the kindness, the help, the love and opportunities that come from outside us, from the environment where we live in. And when we are more able to see the goodness around us, we feel an increased sense of physical and psychological safety. The second benefit, as uh, Robert Emmons, one of the renowned experts in gratitude, describes it, is that uh, gratitude is an emotion that strengthens the relationships we have because it helps us to see better in what ways we are being valued and appreciated by uh, the people around us. And the third benefit, gratitude is making us more resilient. In this dire moment, it's uh, very useful to be able to see something, to grasp on something that, that you value about what is in the present and this ability is making us more emotionally resilient. So in order to enjoy these benefits, uh, we may want to know that there are four, four levels of grateful thinking and you may find yourself in, in one or in all of them. So let's see. The first level of gratitude is uh, the ability to, to see the good that, that uh, close people, family members and friends are doing for us. And in the same way I felt uh, grateful for the neighbors who self-isolated themselves, you may be also silently seeing what, in what ways other people are helping you. And uh, more importantly, how do we express uh, your gratitude towards these people, like explicitly thanking them for a particular good thing that they are doing for you? As we were parking our bikes in the bike shed, I thanked my sons for keeping me company in the bike journey. And I specifically told them that uh, their company warmed my heart. Each person can bring us a hidden gift, provided we are willing to pay close attention to see 
the good that they are doing for us. And in our lives now, there may be also positive events. And um, one of my friends mentioned to me the other day that after one week of self-isolation, she figured out that um, actually she feels good about staying at home with her family. And uh, being the empathetic woman that she is, she also felt very guilty over feeling good that, uh, that she is staying at home. And the uh, funny thing is that uh, when the isolation started, she felt like it was more like an imposed action and, and she, she took it as a punishment and, uh, and she thought it's a conspiracy against her plans. But if you are like my friend, growing aware of the need to slow down, how about allowing yourself to be grateful that now it's your time to connect with yourself and with your needs now is the time to give yourself time to think of new personal goals. And if you are one of the people that um, self-isolation and social distances drives you crazy, how about in one of those worst moments of desperation, remembering to ask yourself one question, what is the one good thing that somebody did for me today? This is the first level of gratitude, when we are able to observe the goodness that the close people do for us or to look at the positive things in the current situation. What might be the other levels of grateful thinking? Seeing the good that uh, institutions and societies and communities are doing for us. Uh, lately, we may have been uh, able to see more clearly the, the world of interdependencies where we live in. Uh, we may have experienced the tangible impacts when some services got disrupted. Like uh, never before I have uh, understood how important the toilet paper production is. When I went to the supermarket on two days in a row, only to find a poster from the personnel in the supermarket apologizing that uh, the shelves are empty and promising that they are doing their best to bring in new supplies every night. Uh, we may realize now that we are living in this web of dependencies and we are like uh, pieces on uh, a board of chess game. And unlike the classic game, the social game of chess is an agile game of collaboration where each one of us, can see, we can change professional roles or personal life roles and we can adopt uh, unique moves so that we can positively impact the moves of the other players on the board. The other day I invested in a one year subscription to a poetry magazine. Now you might be thinking, okay, these are times of crisis and we should be keeping the expenditure for the strictly necessary needs like food and shelter. It's very valid and justified thought. And food and shelter, this is also what artists and writers and poets and singers need also in order to keep on creating and feeding our soul. You may be also thinking that wait a minute, feeding our soul is a luxury. And yet, for some of us, it's a necessity so that we can build some pockets of energy in order to cope with the new reality. So I invested in the one year subscription to the poetry magazine as a token of solidarity for this particular community of, of poets. This was my move on the board of chess. And today I'm considering uh, subscribing to a scientific magazine. How about you? What are those business activities, small or big, that you care about and, and you are willing to support financially? And, and if you can't support financially, in what other ways could you support some institutions uh, at this moment? And now I have a particular group of, of professionals in my mind, which has been uh, at the center of my grateful thinking lately 
and it's not very hard to guess that that's the medical specialists who are now in the front line uh, of the battle the medical doctors the nurses ambulance drivers uh, cleaners who are uh, exposing their right lives so that they can uh, take the best care um, of the people who are not so lucky and, and they got the virus so uh, do you have any friends among this group of uh, any of these groups of professionals and if you do in what ways could you surprise them in order to contribute to their well-being they may be hungry now or they may be missing their kids or they may be discouraged and if nothing else comes to your mind how about praying for them or just telling a loving kindness meditation may they be well may they be healthy may they be strong what is one thing that you benefited from a particular institution in the last week the ability to notice the goodness that that comes towards you from from different institutions is the th second level level of grateful thinking which can inspire us to take our own action of kindness and and push forward the ripples of goodness what might the third level of grateful thinking be appreciating life with its challenges as we know life comes with good and bad and even if it's hard to accept the bad we are going through we could try to to take this uh, disruption caused by coronavirus as uh, an opportunity to test our integrity and humanity like uh, testing our ability to control our emotions in tensed mo moments like uh, testing our ability to be empathetic and compassionate to heal others or testing our creativity in order to figuring out how to use our skills and competencies in order to contribute to recovery plans or new developmental projects this is the third level of grateful thinking when uh, we value the discovery of the best sides in ourselves when life takes us through thick and thin do you find yourself here and let's see what uh, is the fourth and last at least in my thinking level of grateful thinking and most of us may experience now existential anxiety when we keep ourselves updated with the coronavirus situation like the numbers of uh, victims in italy spain and the country where we live in the experience of uh, mortality salience may bring us the opportunity to value the present when we realize that um, death can be very close by we may come to terms with, with the now um, and in the deepest moments of anxiety we may be blessed with peace if we suddenly feel lucky to cry to panic uh, to love and to breathe in this second the fourth level of grateful thinking is to live each day in awe at the miracle of life where do you see yourself in these four levels and as we move forward from the first level to the fourth level we may observe a shift in the way we think from what does the world owe to me to what do i owe to the world i owe to the world to pay close attention to the goodness that there is in it i don't know about you but upon waking up i smile to the new day a new day is a gift a new day is a sign of generosity a new day is a responsibility to make it worthwhile 
special thanks to all the programmers and IT experts, thanks to whom this uh, online communication and the internet is now possible. Special thanks to other professional groups like uh, logistics experts who are continuing to work so that the economies are uh, functioning in crisis. And special thanks to you for listening. May you be well, may you be grateful.